Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, this is... Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle, everybody. Keeping it and moving and grooving. And we are once again at Odessa. I know you guys already see some cars that you like, but we're not going to mess with all of these cars, man. We're messing with what we came out here for. Um, so first one up, you guys, we got us an Audi A6, you guys. I forgot what year. Let's find out. This is a 2010 Audi A6. Let's start her up. We're going to pop the hood and all of that good stuff, you guys. Um, before I forget, man, the links to the equipment I use, the jump starter, um, cold reader, all that stuff is in the description below. Um, I will be having some new products coming out for you guys real soon. Um, I actually got a, uh, uh, what would you call that? I guess like not really a sponsor, but they sent me out some stuff. They want me to check it out on the channel. I'm not going to get paid out for it, but it's going to be free promo for them. And then also I'm going to be able to have some free tools. So they sent me out some stuff. I'm working on, on those videos and incorporating into these videos and we'll get that out to you guys as well. Um, that way you guys can see that and then we'll see if the code readers they sent me is worth it or not. So um, anyway it goes, man, um, this thing has 209,000 miles on it. Let me take this off because we're about to get a little bit dirty, y'all. I'm going to pop this hood right away for oil leaks just because we know we're in an Audi A6 off tops. Um, if you guys can see, let's check out the electronics actually. Obviously that window just was good. Um, this window is good, but it's not going, okay, there we go. That's good. This interior is really, really good for 200,000 miles for sure. Let's check out this sunroof. Boom, that's good. The air is coming through. Uh, I do kind of feel like a little miss. We're gonna, I don't know if that's a miss or if that's like a, kind of like an EVAP leak, but we will most definitely check that out and see what's up. Let's check out this uh, the, 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 the radio. Okay, that's good, that's working. All right, popped the hood already, I believe. Yes, I did. So let's see what we got. All right, so it looks like we got valve cover leaks for sure. That's pretty normal on this one. It looks like it's this one that's leaking, not that one. Um, let's get up under here and get dirty. Ground is wet and all, man. Uh, doesn't look crazily wet. I don't see anything actively leaking, so that's good. Let's check the other side of the body. Let's see what we got over here. Uh, this has a supercharged. Um, I've never honestly been in a supercharged one or seen a supercharged badge on uh, these Audis. So that is something different. So I guess, we, oh, and it's a 3.0 turbo. I've never been in a 3.0 turbo, y'all. So uh, this is gonna be fun. This is a Quattro all-wheel drive. So I guess I'm about to treat myself while I'm able to probably make some money on the car. So um, anyways, overall it looks okay, you guys. Um, let's pull this joint out and uh, see what we got, man. Um, show y'all these cars while we going out, I guess. It's a lot of cars, man. A lot of cars they got out. Um, I might end up driving that Dodge Challenger for you guys at RT. Obviously it just got a 5.7 in there but we'll be able to put it on the open road and get y'all a little fun content while we uh, doing some work. Tremaine's out here as well, you guys. Um, he's driven about 10 cars already. We got some beat up cars. We got some nice cars out here. We got somebody in the, I believe that's a C-Class right there. That looks pretty decent. Looks like it just needs a bumper. But um, yeah, let me pull this thing out of the security. We're gonna see how this thing drives. Moment of truth, you guys. Let's see what she do. All right. She got a little get up to her, man. I'm up to 60 already. Let's see, 70, 75. Okay, now I will say this. All right, and then we're gonna need some brakes and rotors. So, but it's driving good. We're gonna pull it up up here, do a little U-turn. We're gonna mess around with this one. Looks like somebody actually was already driving it because the temperature gauge is already at the middle. So um, somebody's gonna be bidding against me on this one tomorrow. Um, but. I'm just talking to you guys about like the difference of what I'm feeling in the power. So I don't really feel nothing different compared to like the 3.2 um, V6 motor that um, I'm used to buying in these cars. Um, so let me let me just see, man. I mean, I might get a little bit more power to it, but overall, 
like if this costs more than a 3.2 uh, liter motor, I would not most definitely buy it. Uh, Cause it feels, well maybe it feels a little bit more pop. I think, I think it's got a little more kick to it. But um, either way it goes, I think this one's cool. Um, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do. The engine and training's cool. Let's not hit it so hard, you guys. Let's just kind of do regular little shifts and see, see if we feel anything different. Let's see, we up to about 40, no, okay. I think that was fourth gear. This should be about fifth, what we about to hit. All right, we good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on the list, you guys. Let's move on to the next one, let's get it. Okay, y'all, so I'm seeing a Saturn view right here, you guys. Um, it's got 155,000 miles on it. It is a 2004 model. I like this color, man. I had a really good luck with this um, particular model and color before, if you guys remember. So um, this thing flew off the shelf. People were going crazy about this color. So I always try to make like a mental note when it comes to some of these cars as far as they, as fast as they move. So this one smells like cigarette smoke, most definitely in new car freshener. So um, gonna have to try to get that smell out or a detail to get the smell out. But let's see um, how she starts up. See if we got any check engine light or anything like that. Okay. All right, so she started up on E, so I'm gonna have to have one of these guys come out and uh, put uh, some gas in here. One of these lot guys, let's check for any leaks. So I'm probably not going to dry this one right away. What's good, what's good? Not much, man. You cussing too much, man, on these channel, man. Y'all gotta tell him stop cussing, man. He messing up our monetization. <laughs> But uh, uh, oh, that was cool. Yeah, 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 it was cool. Um, the so yeah, it looks like it's got a little, it's a little wet right there. I don't know where that's coming from. And then let's check underneath. All right, bro. Um, so that looks dry too. So it looks like we good. Okay, y'all. Before we jump over out here and get the driving. Um, I want to show y'all these electronics. So obviously, oh, we got a um, rear strut. Most definitely, that rear left strut is terrible. Um, let me check out this other stuff here. Sunroof. All right, sunroof is good. Boom, that's good. That's good. Back to that one's good. All right, that's good. Check the AC. It's blowing, but it ain't cold. Might have to take a little time to kick in. But uh, either way it goes, cooling light came on. Uh, more than likely it's low or it's a sensor. Uh, either or usually happens in these vehicles. So, so far, left strut. And then I most definitely gotta get these fools to put some gas in it because these Odessa charge you about $5 a gallon, boy. If it crossed the block and then they put gas in it, even before you pick it up, they gonna charge you your $5 a gallon regardless. And they're gonna put like three gallons in there. So you're gonna come in there with a $15 bill on top of what you bought the car for. I would be really upset if that was to happen to me again. But uh, anyway, let's drive it. Let's see what we got. All uh, right, shifting the way it should. We up to about 50 miles per hour right now. Okay, up to 60. Most definitely need them struts, man. So, so far, all I'm feeling is suspension, brakes are good. Man, that rear one is terrible. I know y'all can hear that. Uh, we'll get this joint right back where it was and had them get some gas in it, though. So, I, I don't think that's bad. I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check the, um, like, the strut, and then I'm also gonna, like, just check that, uh, that trailer arm because that kind of sounds like, um, I'm trying to think what car that, that happened to me on, uh, that Equinox. That uh, Chevy Equinox I had, and it wasn't the strut, it was actually um, the, basically the frame, so I don't want that to happen to me again. So I'm gonna check that out. It does sound like it too, I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna check that out and then we'll see what's up. But let's uh, move on to the next one, y'all. I'll just give y'all an update on it. I'm not gonna bring y'all along with it, me checking it out. Okay, y'all, so that one is no good. I'm leaving that one alone. Um, but when I'm gonna change up the video a little bit, y'all, we're gonna touch way more cars. Um, I'm gonna just start these joints up and then uh, see what uh, the electronics uh, look like and everything. We can do a test drive on, we all got enough test drive videos. Let's touch more cars this time, y'all. So um, we got a Mazda Tribute, it looks like right here, 179,000 miles on it. 
and it is a 2004 um let's see it's a little dusty in here it doesn't smell terrible but you can tell this thing is like a farm car or something uh this thing needs a jump i'm gonna have to come back on this one man all right so that one needs a jump but let's just look at it real quick see what she got going on here I don't mind getting any of these smaller SUVs right now just because they got the V6 motor in it. Um, so when I advertise it, I'm most definitely gonna put like V6 motor um, in the description. That way people not gonna be all scared of the gas mileage and all that. So um, that cooling is a little low, nothing terrible. Um, as you guys can see, man, this car been sitting for a while for sure. Um, it's got a little leakage over there or a little sign of leakage, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. So I don't know if that's coming from, I don't know exactly where that's coming from, but uh, might be just that valve cover, who knows. Um, so yeah, we'll come back to this one, you guys. I'm gonna have to get a bigger jump pack. So then with this jump pack, y'all, you're gonna get about like five jumps out of it, I feel like. Five to six on cars. Um, but it's a it's really, really handy when it comes to being portable. Man, dang, I'm over here looking on. Like I ain't got my stuff together. Um, Chevy Avalanche right here, you guys. Um, here goes this, this dang lawnmower been messing up the video the whole day. I gotta run away from it. Messing up my audio. All right, um, let's run over here. I'm not gonna re really mess with these trucks, but uh, you got a Chevy Malibu. This one is a 2005. It's got 198,000 miles on it. It does have a cracked windshield on it, just on this side leather interior this is a nice leather interior i don't think i've ever been in one that had full leather i'm a little excited about this one y'all let me check these shocks out these go out a lot all right we're good um body looks good man let's give her a start up looks like we got power started up really good that's good I got nothing but hot heat that came out of there. Um, looks like it, whoever was driving it began to overheat. So I'm gonna leave that one be for sure. I probably need to let Tremaine know. It probably was him who was driving it. So I'm gonna hit him, a, get him a text message, let him know. Um, let's move on to the next one. Okay, keeping it moving and grooving y'all. So we, I believe this is a Buick LaCrosse or it might be a Lucerne. Yeah, it's a Lucerne, I'm tripping. Um, this one is a 2006 got 185,000 miles on it. Me, I'm not too fond of the Lucerne's, y'all. I like the LaCrosse's, but the Lucerne's, I feel like they're really, really hard to sell. In my opinion, I know a lot of you guys say that you guys have good luck with these Buicks and all that. Um, but, you know, in every area is different. So, um, nice interior. Those rims, we need a detail because you saw all that brake dust on there and the rust from being here in Minnesota. So, a um, little wear on the seat right here. Um, smells good in here, most definitely. Starter up, okay. We need a throttle, throttle body cleaner. Hit the gas. Needs a throttle body cleaner, yeah. Let me see. Oh, maybe not, let me see. Did it run out of gas? No, it's got gas in there. Nah, all right. This one, not gonna mess with. Can't get it to run. I hit the gas when it started up, but it, it's just not working out, y'all. Um, that's just too rusty for me, that Mazda 3. I do not buy these anymore. This, I've had trouble with those over the years. So um, Ford Escapes, I I, I kind of have like a bittersweet relationship with them. So we ain't gonna get into too much detail. Um, these little vans though, man, these little vans right here with the low miles, boy. These boys right here, it's a special edition. It'll get you up out of there quick, you know? Um, they most definitely are sellers. So let's uh, open her up, start her up, see what she sound like. 103,000 miles. Ooh, it smells good in here too. Stow and go seats. I never seen a, um, a stow and go seats on the, like the little short body. Let's see, open this up. All right, the vent's working, that's good. I mean the sunroof, boom, that's good. For everybody that keep on asking me what's the blue boxes, man, this is a GPS tracker. So. If, you try to run off with that car, they're gonna know where you at. All right, let's uh, 
get up out here and see what's up with the uh, engine bay. See if we got any leaks. Okay, that looks to be good. But if you look down in there, it's a little wet, right in between that crack. All right, look underneath. Oh, shit. All right, it don't look too terrible down there, so. I think that's cool. Most definitely come back and dry that one. All right, we got a Benz right here. Um, this is, what year is this? This is a 07, is this an E-Class? It is, okay. I wonder if it's an E350, that's what I'm thinking it is. Uh, 156,000 miles on it. Yep, E350, all wheel drive, formatic, y'all. Body looks good. Let's give her a start up. Interior is cool. Okay. Nice start up on that one. Uh, let's check this out. All right, good. I didn't even check the electronics out of, or the uh, radio out in that van when I think about it. Um, all right. This is cool. That's good. Check this one out. Sunroof is good. All right, that already came on, so we need to see if this fan's working. All right, that AC is cold and it is working, so that's good. Um, let's pop this hood, y'all. Let's see where we at right here. Pop that joint. Let's see. Hold on, y'all. I'm working with one hand. Uh, I didn't drop everything. Hold on. Tripping. All right, well, I'm back. Let's see what we got. Looks to be dry. That's good. Check up under here. That's dry too. All right. That's good. Let's go make our way down this little road, y'all. Um, yeah, I'm just not feeling this one, man. I'm good. I'm good on that one, man. I'm going to just stick with my mind. Um, 197,000 miles on this Grand Prix, you guys. Um, this one's a 2007. It's looking like interior's a little dusty, but nothing crazy. Um, let's give her a start up. Okay, she started up. Somebody left the windshield. Windshield wipers on. Cut this off. I'm most definitely hearing uh, power steering. And on these cars, y'all, it could it could be as simple as a power steering pump. Nine times out of 10, it's a rack and pin. Rack and pin gonna cost you a little pretty penny, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's got a check engine light on. Um, we'll come back in. Actually, no, nah, let's do this right now. Let me go ahead and show y'all what the code is while we going down here. Might as well. All right, put the into the OBD2 port right here, y'all. And then we let this thing do its magic, man. So let's see what we got. We got stored. We got an O2 sensor, two O2 sensor codes. Uh, see what's pending. O2 sensor code. So yeah, looks like it's just an O2 sensor. Is why that's on. Um, and then somebody asked as well, why do I leave the cars running? Um, so when I do leave the cars running, you guys. The reason for it is because I'll be able to smell things like that you wouldn't normally smell on a, on a cold start. Because when I drive these cars, it's only for about five minutes. But if I let it run while I go through the auction and see which cars I want to drive, then that's about like maybe 20 minutes on a car running. So if it's going to overheat, it's going to overheat. If it's going to start smoking, it's going to start smoking. Um, if the oil pressure is going to drop or if, it, you know what I'm saying, if it's going to get high, whatever the case may be, that's going to happen during that time between me letting it start letting it run and then me driving also it gives it enough time for the cooling system to do what it needs to do so i can be able to test um the ac make sure that it's working especially on these older cars like newer cars you can kind of hop in 
pretty quick and then you know it'll be working so um but with these other cards you gotta be a little bit delicate and really see what's going on man because like a lot of times man these cars is just they got the mind of their own i keep on telling y'all man um let's pop this hood though and then um I'm, before we go to the front i'm gonna show you guys what we got on the outside the exterior um these tires are looking great um that like i said that, that power steering is most definitely loud inside and outside of this car so let me open this joint up real quick uh if i can find the there we go all right so i'm not seeing there's a leak there's a little wet down there um nothing too crazy i'm not getting underneath any more of these cars with you guys right now um i'm gonna do that when i come back man because this is a little difficult me trying to film and do all of this so um there's a cx7 i'm not going to mess with this uh, should i comment below should i i think somebody gonna say yes so i might as well oh seven um i think it's got 140 something thousand miles on it leather interior sunroof um somebody had a pet in this joint let's see the key is not this is a i don't there uh the key is uh, looks like it's a valet key or something. Uh, okay, this is, uh, it comes like this. Okay. Agree. There's no check engine light on this one. All right. Looks like these dang windows ain't never been down, boy. They sticking. All right, slide. This is good. I feel the AC already. So that's cool. I don't know how to work this. Let's see. All right, the radio's working. So yeah, I think let's let's see what the outside looks like. Let's see. Tires look good. Got some rust back there, y'all. Of course, we are in Minnesota, man. I'm gonna tell you a thousand times, rust right here. But overall, she looks uh, decent. Um. Let's see, you got a Ford Focus, 174,000 miles. I most definitely want to rock with this one. Um, this got to be like an 09, right? 08, so 08, cloth interior. Little stains right there, some watermarks. Let's start her up. Okay. She started up. We got an ABS light on that's not cutting off. Uh, obviously, this fan is working. Let's see. The radio okay the radio's working let's check this out hey i'm gonna reply to somebody that watched one of my old videos he just commented the other day he said when i got this car from my mom um i got her a 09 for focus and dude said i would never charge my mom for a four focus boy i did not charge my mom for a four focus man i uh, actually um if i'm not mistaken i think that she gave me some money towards it just because of my pockets you know what i'm saying i'm not rich um, but, um, overall she didn't pay a dime. So she didn't pay more than what I, what I spent for it, you guys. Um, that's for sure. So anyways, um, that's that man. The windows obviously were just working. Um, let's check the exterior and see what we got on this side. All right. It's the SES model. And my mom's got the SEL model. So that's the uh, leather interior with the sunroof. So, all right, that's good. I do not like these cars. Mike loves these ones right here. Honda Accords, I do like these, man, but I never can. Man, the prices that come along with these cars are crazy. And I always look at, research the uh, market before I buy cars and everything. And I just don't understand how people are making money on these cars. Um, but here we go, man, a Honda Accord, man, a 09 with 175,000 miles. I'm gonna give it a shot. Why not, y'all? Um, salt on the ground. Most definitely, I would, you know, and then when you deal with these more expensive cars, keep on telling y'all, man, I'm not selling these cars, like, not, like, lot ready. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to get these, like, clean. I want that out of there when I buy these cars. I want this looking good, shiny. So when somebody comes out, they feel like they're getting a brand new car, you know? Um, let me fix my camera, start this up. All right, we got a check engine light on. We got an alternate. Isn't this the same car from last week? I don't know. Maybe not. All right. So um, check engine light, alternator light on. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this one off, you guys. Um, well, let me check the electronics first because I don't want it to die and then I'm not gonna be able to drive it. So obviously the alternator is getting ready to go out with the battery light. So 
Um, all right, so boom, those is working. All right, let's see. All right, fans working. Let's see if we can get this radio to come on. I could have swore this happened to me last week too, y'all. Let me see. All right, this one ain't coming on. All right, whatever. And it doesn't say code, so. All right, we'll come back. Oh, let me cut it off. All right, we'll cut that joint off. And then uh, let's move on to something I really, really like, man. Um, the MKS, you guys, uh, this is a two, what year is this thing? This is a 2009. I believe this was the first um, year that they came out with, like, they changed the body style, if I'm not mistaken. Um, this, my homeboy actually had one of these, man. And uh, I remember my first time driving in, in uh, one of these. Whoever had this one smoked a lot of reefer. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Because it, it's smelly. Um, but yeah, so this thing, you most definitely want to get the smoke out of here, the smoke smell out of here. Got a little wear on the steering wheel. Somebody was short, boy. Look at that. Memory seat just put me all the way up here. Um, just got a low tire pressure light on. Uh, let's see. Okay, that's good. That's good. I think this will be a nice little collection to the cars we got at the lot, right? We got two Lincoln MKXs. Put an MKS on here. At the lot, we'll be straight. Then we got the we got the Lincoln we got the sedans and we got the uh, and we got the uh, uh, crossovers. So um, this thing's got a, a navigation system in this one. Does it got backup backup camera? That's cool. Um, the wind I mean not the wind the fan is already working so I already feel the AC. Let's see if we can get uh, da, 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 da. oh it's got Bluetooth in this one. This is cool. Um, let me see if I can turn the radio on. Radio. Call series. Okay, they got Siri. Cut that off. AM. Boom. Boom. All right, radio works. So I'm going to leave this one running too, you guys. And don't worry. I'm going to check these cars before um, I drive them, you guys. So for the people that like to comment and tell me what I did not do, I will be checking my cars thoroughly. All right. Um, so this one looks good. This That's, that's dirt, y'all. That ain't nothing to get out. Um, here's another Ford Focus over here. This one's got like, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like faded a little bit. Like, I feel like it was, this is like probably a construction person's car and they never washed it. Cause it's got all that condensation on there. And my detail got charged extra for that. Cause you got to buy like this compound solution um, to be able to get that out. You got rust all along there. Um, 200,000 miles, if I didn't say that already. So this is like really a commuter car. Um, it's got that forward focus vibration for sure. Let's see. If you bring All right, radio's working. AC is working. Um, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's good. Slide. All right, that's working. Most definitely gonna leave this one running too. Um, all right, y'all. Hopefully, we can touch enough cars. I don't want the video to get too long, but as y'all can see, man, this is, this is a big auction, man. Um, so Malibu right here, y'all. Y'all know this is my favorite right here. Um, 181,000 miles, 2009 Chevy Malibu, y'all. That's a little bit beat up right there. I got one with an identical ish. Oh, this one's got leather. Oh, it's the two tone joint that's got the suede with the leather, y'all. That black on black do something to people, man. Let's see, start her up. Okay, she started right up, that's good. Check engine light is on, I'ma check that for sure. Make sure ain't no timing chain codes. Let's see, these is working. Okay, that's cool. Radio's good. All right, fans working. All right, leave her running too. Show y'all the body. This is the LT model is looking like. So I'm pretty sure it's like a one LT because it doesn't have a sunroof. So it's not a two LT. Um, little condensation right here too. Uh, I don't even know what this is. This is it's a newer Mazda. What is this, it's like a three? It can't be a six. I don't think it's a six. 
My I said three, yep. Um, Dodge Charger, man. I'm not a fan of these anymore. Not not this year. Um, before you guys even, before I even made a YouTube channel, man, I had big problems with a Dodge Charger and a Chrysler 300. Um, and it was all computer related. And ever since then, I stopped selling them. Um, so yeah, I ain't gonna rock with that one, man. Um, we already messed with the Audi. We got a uh, Ford Fusion right here that is beat up. It's got a fender bumper issue going on, cracked windshield, mirror over there. Mm, I'm not piecing nothing together no more. I'm straight. All right, so then we got another Buick Lucerne over here. This one's got 132,000 miles on it. Not gonna mess with that one, not gonna lie to you. So let's not even start it up. Uh, another Chevy Malibu, you guys, 94,000 miles. This is really, really low miles. Um, not gonna mess with that one either. Um, let's see what we got. This is a, what is this thing? Is this a Focus? Let me see. Oh, it's a Fusion. I don't know my body style. Oh, it's a 16. I can't, I can't afford that, y'all. Um, all right, then you got a Dodge Challenger with the Hemi in there. This is a 2012. I feel like we, y'all deserve a cold start. So why not? Let's start her up. Let's see. You never know, man. Sometimes you get these aftermarket exhausts. No, not aftermarket. But that's okay. Um, I might actually end the video with driving this for you guys to see kind of what we can do with it. So I think that might be what I do, man. Um, so anyways, man, let me just keep on walking on down here. Let's see if we can find anything. Um, I'm going to leave this one running a little bit. And uh, matter of fact, I promise y'all, I'm gonna end it with me driving this. So let's just see what she do. Or if I find something better, then we'll drive that. But, um, which it won't be hard, like I said, because I'm not impressed with the RT model, y'all. Um, let's see, these are all newer cars right here. They got, see, I'm not too familiar with these, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this is a, is AMG though, I see AMG. <laughs> So let's find out what this is together. Like I said, I'm not familiar, man. So I ain't gonna sit here and lie to y'all. Um, what is this thing? A GLE 43, uh, 2017 it says. Let's see how many miles is on here. Um, comment below, it says buy turbo on here, four mag, that means all wheel drive for sure. Um, AMG, if I'm not mistaken, means that it's got a little bit more horsepower from what I've been told. So comment below, let me know if I'm wrong or right, 107,000 miles on it. Um, I'm, I'm way more excited about this thing than, uh, than, uh, that, that Dodge Challenger over there. So, um, this might be what we, what we drive y'all. I think, I think this might be what we drive y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, it's got, oh, he it says it's in part. Okay. Yeah. I'm actually more, way more interested in this. I am, um, yeah. Let me see. I'll come back and cut off the car because y'all be talking stuff. Talk <laughs> I'll read the comments, man. Y'all be making jokes in there, man. But it's all good. All right. Yeah, we're going to drive this one, man. I feel like this one's it's dark in here, though. Let's, all right. Let's get some sunlight in here. This is tinted. I hate tinted windows, man. Like, y'all do not understand. All right. We got to pull this one out, man. Look at this. Look at this thing. Let me see how I cut this back on. All right, all right, you gotta cut that down though. AMG, 107,000 miles. Double sunroof, whatever you wanna call that. I don't think that's considered a panorama sunroof, you guys. Um, I do like the how the leather is just tight. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing too crazy. You know, y'all know I love the steering wheel in here. Let's see how we can get this thing in drive. How do you get this thing in drive? See, look, what we got going on, man. I don't know how to put it in drive. It should be right here though. Let's see. That's something different. Okay. Oh, that you can put it in sport though. Look. Sport plus. They got a sport plus, bro. All right. Um I don't know how to put this thing. Oh, there we go. Um, look at me. All right, boom. Drive. Let's go. All right, y'all. Oh, uh, dude took the look. That was the sign. He took the challenger anyway over there, y'all. So um, let's pull this joint out and then we gonna see what she do, man. All right, man. Let's see what this AMG talking about. Okay. 
Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, this is... Okay. All right. That was fun. I ain't gonna lie. I was not expecting that. I don't know why I wasn't expecting that. Um, that was a... That was a feel fun. Y'all know I love, like, uh, some power when it comes to these cars, man. Um, I most definitely got to do that again. That was fun. Um, all right. Let's do this U-turn. I swear, I keep on telling y'all this, man. This is the funnest part of what I do. It's me being able to drive cars that I don't know nothing about. Me being able to experience different things. Rather, you know, like, ah, right, let's stop talking. Come on. Y'all hear that? Come on, man. This heaven right here. That's nothing That's nothing but pure blissfulness, y'all. Um, this is fun. This feels good. Like, I love this. Like, for real, for real. I wonder what the MSRP is on this thing. This thing. This is what's up, man. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Um, either way it goes, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I gotta get back to work, you guys. I'm not gonna be making a part two of this video this week, you guys. I have a lot of cars on my list and I need to focus so I don't make any mistakes, you guys. So um, if you did enjoy the video, man, make sure you go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up. Don't forget, you guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell, man. And then don't forget, check out the links in the description below. It's not just tools that I use. Um, it's not like, you know, it's a lot of stuff down there, man. It's all out there for you guys. Um, you just got to take the initiative to go down there and check it out, man. If you actually scroll through down there, you will see a whole bunch of stuff that will actually benefit you. I tell my people the same thing face-to-face. -face. Check out all of this stuff, all these apps, all these credit cards I use. Learn how to save money, how to not use your money to go do your trips, all of that stuff, man. Y'all go down there, check it out, man. I'm going to see you guys on the next video. I'm out. Peace.